Interesting topic, right? A theory that well explains everything, including the science of black holes and what it's like right before the Big Bang, when everything in the universe is in a single mathematical point with zero size. Hate to break it to you, but as of this day, there's yet to be a theory of everything. The reason for this is simple. There are much, much more to discover, including quantum gravity, gravity in the subatomic realm. The funny thing is, physicists are able to precisely predict the influence of gravity on huge stuff like planets and stars, but no one really knows how gravity interacts with the tiny stuff like minute particles or quanta. Speaking of gravity, the best theory we have is Einstein's general relativity, where gravity is caused by objects distorting space-time. Well, the most obvious thing to do is to apply the theory to the subatomic realm, right? Well, yes, but no. As weird as it may seem, the theory just collapses. The maths becomes impossible, which raises the question, is there even is such a thing as quantum gravity? Well, there must be because A, all of the other fundamental forces have their own quantum nature and B, general relativity is a classical theory and it's impossible to seamlessly web together a classical and a quantum theory. And for that, there are many theories or ideas about gravity in the subatomic realm. One idea in particular is the existence of a hypothetical particle called a graviton, a particle that mediates gravity. Pretty cool name, right? If you look at the model of particle physics, a graviton should be right there. Now, let's talk a little bit more about gravitons. Thanks to Newton's and Einstein's theory of gravity, we can actually predict what gravitons are like. Because gravity has infinite range, a graviton must be massless. Because gravity is an attractive force, a graviton must have a spin of 2. And also, a graviton must also be electrically neutral. All of this is great and all, but the real question is, why can't we find a graviton? Or better even, why can't we make one? Well, you've probably realised this by now. Gravity is so, so, so weak. In fact, it's weaker than the bonds that hold hydrogen atoms together. And because of that, it's practically impossible to find one. Or even make one. Not even with the tech of 100 years from now. And that's a fact. But still, scientists around the world are hard at work trying to uncover the mysteries of quantum gravity. Inevitably, we will find the answers sooner or later. And when we do, we will finally be able to explain cool singularities throughout space and finally, finally form a theory of everything. Thank you.